Hello everyone! This video will show you how to set up an azeotropic distillation system in HiSIS. An azeotrope is a mixture of two or more liquids that cannot be separated by simple distillation. As you can observe in the vapor and liquid diagram, there is a point in which the composition of the liquid is almost the same as the vapor and touch the XY line, making that the maximum separation that can be achieved using conventional distillation to be more or less 85% in mole fraction. The azeotrope can be break using an entrainer. Typically, the data we know when designing an azeotropic distillation system are the flow rate and composition of the ethanol and water feed and the desired composition of the ethanol and water products. And we need to find out how much entrainer is needed to achieve the ethanol purity. We also want to minimize the waste of the entrainer and the ethanol for economical reasons, so these streams are recycled back to the first column. In this video we assume that you already know how to more or less use HISIS, so a number of steps are only specified. First, select ethanol, cyclohexane and water as components. Now, select PRSB as fluid package. Create a new set of SI units in which the pressure is given in bars and not in kilopascals. And in the main flow sheet, insert four material streams and a mixer. Now, rename the stream as shown in the video. Connect the streams, solve and recycle, and make up to the mixer, and create a new stream named solvent as output of the mixer. We don't really know the inputs of the solvent recycle and the makeup streams, but we need to define them in order to have a convert simulation. So double click on the makeup stream and define the temperature, the pressure and the molar flow as indicated in the video. In the composition tab, define the stream to be pure cyclohexane. Now open the solvent recycle stream and input the following values for temperature, pressure and flow rate. Define this mixture to be an equimolar mixture of ethanol and cyclohexane. Now define the feed and the feed recycle streams as shown in the video. Now we have all our input streams defined. We can proceed now to install our first distillation column. The next step is to install a distillation column. Click the column label on the palette and now select the three-phase distillation column and install it on the flow sheet. Double click the column item to open the columns of flow sheet. In this window we can select the type of separation we want. In this case we want a distillation column that is already selected, so we just simply click next. This new window asks for the number of stages, so we're going to type 62 on the corresponding field and then click next. This window is to select the type of condenser we want. First, type a name for the energy stream. Now select the total condenser and type names for the liquid outlets. Click next when you're done. This new window is to select the condenser specs, but as we don't know any of them, we're just going to move to the next page. In this page, select the streams feed, feed recycle and solvent as inlet streams. The first two will enter the column on the 20th stage and the solvent on the first stage. And also, give a name for the bottom liquid outlet stream. Once you finish, click next. We only have one choice for the reboiler configuration so we just simply click next, set the reboiler and condenser pressures to be one bar and then click next 
this data is optional, so again we just click Next. Now we need to add some specification to convert the distillation column, so we need to move to the Monitors page. Now active only the heavy reflux ratio and the light reflux ratio specification and specify the values as shown in the screen. Note that we still have one degree of freedom, so click the Add Aspect button to add a new specification. Select the component fraction specification and enter the specification for the ethanol stream at the bottom of the column. Close this window in HiSys. Now click the Run button to begin the simulation of the column. If this warning message appears, don't freak out. Just click OK. And now we have a convert simulation of the distillation column. You can close this window now. As you remember, at the beginning of the video, it was mentioned that the inputs for the solvent recycle and the makeup streams were unknown, and these values were assumed in order to get a convert simulation. In this section of the video, we're going to learn how to use HiSys to calculate these values. First, we're going to install a spreadsheet and an adjustment block. Now, open the spreadsheet. Go to the spreadsheet tab and type the following names on the cells A1 and A2. Now, import the value of the cyclohexane molar flow in the ethanol stream in the cell B1, as shown in the video. In cell B2, import the molar flow of the makeup stream. Once you finish, close this window. Now, open the adjustment block. Select the makeup stream molar flow at the adjusted variable. And the cyclohexane molar flow in the ethanol stream as the target variable. In the target value section, select the source object to be a spreadsheet cell. And as matching value object, select the cell B2. Once you finish, go to the parameters tab and change the tolerance and the step size as shown in the video. Click the start button. and close this window to go back to the main flow sheet. Now, open the spreadsheet again to see the result of what we did. As you can observe, now the makeup molar flow is the same as the cyclohexane molar flow in the ethanol stream, which is the amount of solvent lost. But why do we need to do this? Remember that we mentioned that we want to minimize the waste of entrainer. For this reason, we're going to recycle back to the column the cyclohexane that leaves the column from the condenser. But if we don't do this, the simulation will never converge with our recycle, because the entering molar flow of cyclohexane will always be changing. Well, you can close this window now. Now we're going to add a recycle block. Double click the item to open it. In this window, select the Sol Rec stream as inlet and the Solvent Recycle stream as outlet. You can close this window now. Now, open the spreadsheet again 
to observe how the makeup molar flow is in agreement with the solvent loss in the ethanol stream. You can close this window now. In this section, we're going to install a conventional distillation column to purify the water contained in the inorganic solution that leaves the condenser. Then, go to column stop in the palette and select the conventional distillation column item. On the first page of the columns of flow sheet, write the following information. Number of stages, 50. Inlet stream, C2 feed. Inlet stage, 35. Type of condenser, total. And write the names of the outlet and the energy streams as shown in the video. In the next page, leave the default reboiler and click Next. Set the condenser and the reboiler pressures to be 1 bar. This page asks for optional information, so we're going to leave it blank and click Next. Then we specify the reflux ratio to be 0.5 and then click Done. Now, move to the monitors page to give the column a specification and run the simulation. As you can observe, we still have one degree of freedom, so we're going to add one specification. So, we select a column component fraction specification, and then we write the specification. Click Run. And now we have a convert simulation for the second column. You can close this window now. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, we want to minimize the waste of ethanol. So, we're going to recycle the feed rate stream to the feed recycle stream on the first column. So, install a recycle block and connect these two streams. The simulation should converge automatically. And we reached the end of this video. Now you know how to set up an isotropic distillation system in HISIS. Thank you for watching.